Hello and welcome back to our cozy autumn survival series. So we are standing in front of the stable that we made in the last episode and of course we have all of our other animals here as well so if you missed that one make sure you go and check it out but we built pens for the sheep for our pigs which is actually one of my favorite ones for sure. Uh, the stable which I also think turned out really nice. We've got our chickens in here, little ones just kind of hopping around. And of course, we can't forget the cows as well. They've got a cute little shelter back there and they are just kind of chilling, really. <laughs> the sheep are still being a little bit silly. I don't know, they just keep getting like stuck either on the vine over there or like they just keep sticking their heads out these, uh, out these trap doors. So yeah, I mean, that's a thing, but I guess it's not such a big deal. So today we are going to be expanding our area a little bit since we are done with the backyard. I think it's time that we sort of wrap up the last couple of like main things that we need for this to be a functional world. And that is a storage area and a smelting area because so far our storage, you've probably seen it if you've watched our last episodes, but it's just kind of these chests popped up on the wall here, which is not the best situation. And our smelting area, well, actually you might be haven't even seen this yet. I used to have just a couple of uh, furnaces back here, but I recently put a whole bunch here because I wanted to smelt a bunch of the clay that I got from the lush cave. And yeah, I mean, it's obviously a bit of an eyesore. Everything else is so pretty. And then there's just this. So what I want to do today is head over to this area over here where we have our little mine. So uh, I don't mean there's not much here, but this is the little hole that we had uh, started digging down so that whenever I need to go down and get iron or deep slate or anything like that, I could just go right down there and it worked out quite good. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna make this into kind of a cute, I'm gonna do something here to make the entrance a little bit cuter. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna do too much inside of here, apart from maybe cleaning it up a little bit, uh, I guess, and we'll put the smelting area, that's what I'm not 100% sure about yet, is whether or not I want the smelting area in there or if I want it out front here somewhere. So decide on that as well once we get this entrance finished. And then I think I'm gonna do two in one in this episode. I also wanna build the storage area. And I'm thinking, so I don't know exactly where to put it. It's just gonna be like another little house almost. It's not gonna be nearly as big as this house, but it is gonna be kind of like a little cottage looking build. So we can either build it on that side of the house over there where we've got, you know, the shed, we could have a build there, or we could build it over here. So we'll have like a little pathway that goes off this way to our mine. And then we continue around the lake to maybe the storage building right here. And then, you know, you continue. I can make the path continue back into the backyard right here. So that's kind of the idea for today anyway, <laughs> but I don't actually think we need to do too much gathering. We still have a whole bunch of wood and such from last episode. So I think that's gonna be plenty to at least start on the mine and smelting area. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go right ahead and jump into that. All right, so I've got a few supplies here that I think we can use to make somewhat of a cute little mine entrance situation. It's gonna be a little tricky. I don't, I never build on diagonals. Um, I find it actually quite difficult, but you know what? We're gonna go out on a little bit of a limb here and try to make this as cute as possible and keep with the natural sort of diagonal situation that we have going on here. It obviously is a little bit weird because it goes like down, 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 and then we enter in, but I think that's okay. I'm gonna start the entrance down at this lowest level here and just kind of bring it up maybe a little bit above the ground level. And yeah, we'll see. I think I'll have to add some dirt just to kind of even this out a little bit or maybe take some away, we'll have to see. But let's just, uh, I don't know, I'll speed this up a little bit for you and hopefully I can come up with something that's not too bad.
All right, there's our little entrance. It's nothing too spectacular or anything like that, but I think it's kind of cute, kind of cozy. I mean, it's just a little bit of a, you know, a little bit better than a hole in the ground anyway. So next, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the inside here. I think I'm just going to start with a totally flat canvas. I'm going to bring everything down to... I don't know, maybe even all the way down here. And so we could go in then down a few more steps maybe. And then I probably will have to expand it out a little bit more in order to have room for all the smelting stuff up here as well. But for now, I'll just flatten it out and yeah, we will figure out where we need to expand it after that. All right, here it is starting to come together. So I went with this color scheme. I figured brick kind of a trim on the wall and then mostly wood in here just to keep it nice and warm for our weird little underground uh, <laughs> underground mine. This is kind of, I mean, this is gonna be ugly, but I'm thinking I'll do a cute little like archway kind of entrance here with maybe some fencing all around the sides or maybe it'll just be like, its own little part of the building over here. Like maybe I'll do a big entrance um, and we can always expand out the staircase or something like that. And then I'm thinking over on this side, we'll build out the smelting area. So I think we're gonna have to dig quite a ways in there, but that should be fine. Cause this is, yeah, if we have to do a bit of terraforming to like raise up the ground over here, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm thinking we can kind of, yeah, open this up quite a ways and essentially we'll be able to walk in and then either take this entrance down into the mine or go over to the left here and we'll be able to see the big smelting area over there. So yeah, I guess that is the next step here. I'm gonna take down this wall and start expanding it out that way and we'll see how far we need to go for it to make sense. <laughs>
So I went ahead and cleaned up the pathway as well. So now it leads down to our mine and it leads that way. We'll go over there afterwards, but here it is. So this is what it looks like. Those bushes are finally grown. I think this is, yeah, I mean, same, same, but it's a cute little entrance, I think. And then we walk down here and I decided to split this into kind of two little areas. Oh, it looks like I'm missing a... <laughs> I'm missing a brick. I'll grab that in a minute, but I just kind of wanted to let this look like two different little areas here So over here we could enter into the mine the strip mine or the branch mine, whatever you want to call it Ideally, I think this would be maybe like full or like three wide or something like that But I don't think we're ever actually gonna expand it out like that <laughs> to be fair But yeah, that's what that looks like and then over here is kind of the main new area So we've got uh, some of these are already done But I decided to light these up just to make it just to take a look at what it looks like when they're lit But they're already finishing anyway um, But yeah, this is our little smelting area So I thought I would cover it with this sort of like roof design just for fun. I mean, it's I mean, just a design thing, really. It's not even that practical. I can't quite, like, reach in here properly. But I think it's just, you know, it looks cool. I think it kind of adds quite a bit to it. And you can kind of imagine that it would be like a chimney that goes up and out in the back or something like that, just to kind of keep the heat in and uh, get the smoke out. And then over here, we have a little bit of storage. So we have some storage for some fuel, some raw ores, some finished ores, and then all the other miscellaneous stuff that we find when we are mining that's not, you know, stone and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I think this works out quite good. Cute little area and a uh, little small and all that, but I think this is exactly what I was hoping for. So next up is going to be our storage room. So I went ahead and expanded the path out this way. We'll need to, well, actually the sunflowers look okay. I'll need to clean this up a little bit, add a couple more sunflowers or something here too, or take some away. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, but looking at this direction, I think what I want to do is just put the storage room right in between. So like halfway in between the mine there and the backyard here. So I definitely need to do a little bit of terraforming. Um, and it actually doesn't need to be that big of a building. We don't need to store like a ridiculous amount of stuff So I think I'm gonna start it like fairly close here Maybe just a couple back from the pathway and then the only thing is we do have this giant hole here. Oh wow multiple endermen <laughs> That's terrifying. Um, we do have this giant hole here But which honestly would have been a pretty cool like mine entrance, but we never went down there, which is okay um, So I don't want to bring it back too far that we have to mess this up too badly I think we can kind of fill in maybe up to this line and that would be fine so and I want this building to be like long, like wider than it is long anyway. So I think we'll bring it back like a couple, maybe start it and run it like all the way across here and then back maybe just to, I don't know, maybe we could even get away with just bringing it to like here or so and we can kind of fill this part in and make it still go down properly. I think that could work out just fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and clear out this area and then we'll get a better idea of what that looks like. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking for the size of the building and placement as well. So I don't think it needs to be too big. This gives us plenty of room to like put a bunch of chests, you know, along the wall, on this wall, this wall, and probably even in the center as well. Because if we brought out two and then, yeah, what's our middle right here? Two, we would have a one walkway. I don't know. Honestly, we don't need that many chests anyway. I think this could work out perfectly fine. Just putting some chests on the sides. Um, and maybe the back wall or something like that as well. I think this is gonna be good. So I wanted to, for the design of this, I wanted to make it match our house a little bit more. We haven't really used a ton of the mangrove wood in any of our builds in the yard, just because it's kind of hard to collect, but I did manage to collect quite a bit. And honestly, we have like a decent amount if we're gonna be using the planks, not so much if we wanted to use the logs like we did for the house, but I think the planks also look quite nice and you know, the color looks pretty good, so. I think that's what I'm gonna go with um, basically as a base. So I think I'm gonna keep it fairly simple and just do like mangrove, this kind of plain old wood all the way across. Of course we'll leave room for a couple of windows. I'm thinking do one and then a large window. I think this one will be kind of covered up by chests quite a bit. So I'll go ahead and make it a little bit smaller. And same with the sides here, because I think I'm gonna actually line up all the chests along the back wall there. I think that's gonna be plenty of storage all on its own. So we can put some windows in on the sides here as well. And in the back here, we'll just have to come up with something a bit more creative to uh, decorate the wall back here so it doesn't look so plain. 
All right, there we go. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Pretty basic, but I think this is gonna be a good shape. Um, essentially, I wanna do, I wanna do like the front peak, I think, but I'm not gonna make it a super steep peak. It'll be sort of like a gradual, um, a bit more of a gradual roof situation. So yeah, I think that's gonna work out quite well. For the roof, I'm thinking I'm gonna line it in dark oak just to give it that same sort of feel that this one has. And then I will fill in with spruce to kind of bring in a bit of a different color there. Okay, yeah, that is pretty much what I was imagining. Obviously, we still need quite a bit of detailing to do. So I was thinking right off the bat, maybe we need something different in the corners here. So I'm gonna try the spruce logs and see what that looks like. Let's see, okay, yeah, no, I think that looks way better. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on all the corners. All right, and then for the windows, I was thinking maybe I'll do, I don't know, what do I wanna do for the windows? I kinda wanna do the fencing for the windows again, but I don't know if that really, I don't know, that doesn't really bring it together like I'm hoping. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the glass in these lower windows at least, and then maybe we'll do a couple windows or a window up top here, and we'll use the fencing. Or we could actually use it, I think, fine on the interior windows since they're quite a bit smaller. All right, there we go. I think that works quite well. And then of course we need a door here. I think the spruce door works quite well here. And then I wanna do one of those like fireplace um, uh, overhangs again, like we did a bunch here <laughs> all over the place. So I'm thinking, I don't know if it should just be like right above the door or if we should give it a space above the door. Maybe one space and then we can always put like a lantern or something there. Okay, there we go. I also switched those out for spruce because I think that just matches the fireplaces a little bit better. And then underneath the windows here, we could do those planters again, but I was actually thinking what if we did like little shelves and then we can put some potted plants um, under there. And we can still do some shutters on the sides. And I do think we have room for one little wind window up here. And now just a couple of final details for the front here. Okay, there we go. That looks like a building to me. <laughs> I think that's perfect. So uh, next up, I do want to do a little something on the side here. We'll probably end up planting like a tree here and filling this in a little bit, but I think it's worth doing at least a little something here. And I'm thinking maybe we just go back to our roots and do one of those regular old planters just all the way across here. Um, and we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. All right, so there it is. The exterior is complete. So let's go ahead inside and figure out what we're gonna do in here. So I did fill in the floors with some dark oak. I think that looks all right. And then, yeah, I think for the uh, for the chests here, what I wanna do is I wanna put them sideways for sure. So kind of like this. And then I was also thinking that I'm probably gonna wanna want, gonna want something a little bit decorative in here. So maybe we could do some pillars. Sort of, I don't know, they sort of look like they could be supportive, but I wouldn't really call them supportive pillars. <laughs> there we go, I think that breaks it up all right. And then I think I would just fill this basically in with chests all the way up. I don't know if we're gonna need that many chests to be honest, but you know what? We might as well just fill it up and uh, make it look good. There we go, all filled up. And then I was thinking up here, we could add a few shelves and just add some decorative bits. There we go, I think that looks all right. And then I wanna do something similar over here, but I'm thinking just a little, 
Maybe a little shelf that kind of goes down under the window. Actually, well, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, maybe we could do two more pillars right beside the window and then put some shelves here and just put some, I don't know, something kind of decorative um, sort of like we did on the other side there. All right, there are the two shelves. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in this roof a little bit. There's these parts that are not quite right. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill those in. And then I've got a couple more glowberries. So thinking we could just hang them right here as sort of hanging plants. They'll come down and we'll trim them at some point when it makes sense. And then yeah, really all that's left is to label all of these chests. Okay, there we go. Every chest has a glow item frame on now, which I think looks pretty decent. So over here, I think I'm gonna start with, what do we wanna do? So I'm thinking maybe we'll start with wood over here and I'm wondering if it would make sense to sort by like wood type rather than by um, what I would normally do, which is like logs and then not logs and then things made out of wood, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I'm wondering, cause we have six wood types. So what if we just did like everything oak and everything made out of oak, birch and things made out of birch and then the same with spruce, dark oak, acacia and mangrove and then yeah i think that might work quite well that way when we're building and we know what we want to build out of we can sort of you know actually with the light these look so similar i might replace these with the uh planks actually because they look way too light There we go, that's more of a difference there. Okay, there we go. I think that looks a little clearer. If you look at all of them, you can tell what they are. Dark oak, spruce, birch, acacia, mangrove. Oh, <laughs> I would say it doesn't really, you know, the glowing does throw it off a little bit, but that's okay. And then obviously we need some room for straight up cobblestone and straight up dirt. So I'm thinking maybe could do just here and here cobble dirt and then have kind of all your basic stuff done and then over here we can go into some other stuff so what if we did dirt 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 and then three for cobblestone and then over here I think we only need three kind of random chests so we need something for monster drops and like animal or like creature drops something for equipment and then something for like the really miscellaneous stuff so we have quite a bit more here to sort of organize things a little bit. So I think I want one for sure that's going to hold like at least mud, if not like mud and podzel and like all those dirt adjacent things. And then I'm thinking maybe we can separate gravel or sorry, we can separate diorite, gravel and diorite, granite, that's what I'm looking for, and andesite, um, which I don't think I have one on me right now. And then, yeah, so that basically means that over here, maybe we can do mud separate, we can do, we can do a puzzle separate, and then we can do coarse dirt and rooted dirt together. Okay, so there's andesite, and then I think I want something like sand, but I think sand and gravel can go together. I think that makes sense to me. And then I would like one for like terracotta and things of that nature. Okay, I'm actually gonna make one more adjustment here as well. I'm gonna do podzel and all the dirt effects together because it's not like we have a ton of that anyway. And then, so we've got sand and gravel, terracotta and the like. And then I wanna do, maybe I'll put one over here that's gonna be like other stone stuff. So mossy stone, cut stone, all of that sort of thing, as well as deep slate. And then over here, I'm gonna do one that is basically anything else that has to do with like stone sort of stuff. <laughs> so we'll do basalt, stuff like dripstone. I'll put all of our bricks in here as well, calcite, basically everything else we get from mining. And then we've got equipment. I'm just gonna throw that crossbow up there because I don't think we're ever gonna use that. And monster drops or other random creature drops. And then we have all of the miscellaneous things that we have picked up on the way. And I think it would be a good, I think maybe just this treat basket might be a good item for that. <laughs> Basically just, I don't know, all sorts of random stuff that I don't really, it doesn't in my mind at least go with anything else. Okay, and now that our storage is all done, that clears up this wall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do, um, I don't know, I guess we could do a few vines here, but we only have one more right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one there for now. And then I think I'll fill this wall kind of in with some different heights um, of those vines as they grow, but we need a few more berries <laughs> before we can do that. A lot of these are not uh, 
are not spawning berries like I want them to. Though we can get them with bone meal, can't we? Okay, yeah, we actually can. So maybe I just don't, uh, I don't need to wait. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we've got a bunch of them to grow. I'll let them grow to some different heights and then trim them up and uh, they will look good, I think. Also coming around this side, now that we kind of know that this is all finished up, I'm gonna go ahead and plant a couple of trees here just to fill it up a little bit. And of course, we'll add back in a bit more of the grass as well. And that concludes today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, leave me your comments, any questions, suggestions. Let me know if you liked the episode, all that fun stuff. I love reading your comments. And next episode is actually going to be our final episode of this series. It's going to be December and I'm going to be starting a series very like similar vibes to this one, I think. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet where I'm going to go with it, but it's going to be similar, like cozy, somewhat cinematic sort of thing. And it's going to be based in winter, obviously. So I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be a lot of unique builds and a lot of really fun stuff. So next episode little sneak peek we are going to be building a sanctuary for our cats we gathered all those cats and we haven't done anything with them yet so i'm so excited about that um, a few of you have left name suggestions i don't even think i have enough name suggestions for all the cats so if you have made it this far leave me another name suggestion for a cat down below and i will talk to you in the next one